Maybe Stenberg can get a gold helmet here. This is our final 90 seconds to prove it. Bring it. And because Adams is the number one qualifier, he will sit and watch what Twitch puts down. So he'll, he'll know how hard he has to push it. Brian, is there anything we haven't seen from Twitch? Something he can uncork here. A surprise move. Geez, right now this is going to be a tough one. Twitch is really going to have to pull out some combos, maybe add in some no-hander landers, one-hander landers, can landers, anything to step up his run. All right, Tess, the question. Something different or something we've already seen from Twitch? I think we're going to see pretty much what we've seen from Twitch, but he's going to try and snap it a little more. And he's doing a great job of it so far. Maybe a little bit long on that landing there. I don't think being a little long is really going to hurt you because you're just taking a little bit more. But I think decking it definitely hurts the score. This is the final. Two men enter. One guy is leaving with the gold helmet. One's leaving with the silver helmet. So we know there's bragging rights. These two riders ride together all the time. Ride the tracks, ride the freestyle. Big no-handed backflip. You talk about maybe going no-handed lander, Brian, or something different, just to spice it up. The judges, the judges like something new. Definitely got to change up your run a little bit, especially in the finals. It's time to lay it all down, take those big chances. And Stenberg right now working his way around this course. He's going to head back up into the double-double. Nope, he's going to the 115-foot jump. The big dog. It held it so long. He was in the air for a long time because of the big gap, and he really did extend that. That's what we're talking about. He needs to show the judges that he's stepping it up. And a cool down. One-handed whip flip with the one-handed lander. That's good. And up come the bars. Brian, tell us about these bars a little bit. They're flip levers that catch your arms when your bike flips away from you so you don't go all the way over the front of the bike. Invented by Pastrana. Waiting for a score. 92 coming in for Twitch. So the judges did actually think he stepped it up, but Adam still has to put in a perfect run to beat Stenberg. And let's point out that Nate Adams only earned a 92.40 in his first run. These guys are messing around. Oh, the little, little fang punch on. Oh. So playing around a little bit. This is serious business. Trying to mess with his head a little bit. Nate Adams, once he takes off from the first ramp, has 90 seconds. Getting right to business. Well, nice off the start. So far, so smooth. And folks, if you're having problems with the text messaging, log on to expn.com to vote for your rider of the event. Nate Adams is trying to prove he is the rider of the event. A short turnaround into the 115-foot gap. Seat grab. The seat grab flip, Brian, I gotta ask you, the seat grab flip, that was a little tentative. Is that tougher than the super flip where you just throw your legs straight out? Is it harder to reach back and grab? I think so. I think a seat grab flip is tougher. You're letting go, grabbing your seat, but he did it kind of tentative. Big under flip. Now, he didn't get perpendicular, so is it a turn down flip or under flip, Tess? Well, uh, you know, it looked more like a turn down flip. It's hard to see from this angle if he got really sideways. What I would say is I don't know if it cost him by taking that short approach to the 115 when he pulled that seat grab flip if he felt he maybe didn't have enough speed. He just didn't seem like he got all of it. Huge lazy boy. Oh, crossing it up a little bit, but pulling it back in. That's one trick Twitch doesn't do. And also, we didn't see a cliffhanger flip from Twitch, right? Yeah, the thing is, Nate Adams is really smart. There are some tricks he doesn't do as well. He just doesn't put them in his run. He does the best tricks that he can do with the most extension. Oh, a little spin there going into that. But, oh, a oh. little deck in there, Tess. You know, I don't think this run is as good as the last one we saw from him in the semis, so it's going to be tight for the judging. And the stripper flip, mixing it up a little bit. But I agree, I don't, I don't think he got all of that run. And Clifford Adaptante, a blast from the pass coming out. And the score, 93.80 for gold for Nate Adams. Wow. He doesn't even believe it. Pretty good, but I think it could have been a little closer.